time to rant. Hey guys, it's Olivia, and I have something to say. If you know my channel, you know I have two very beautiful dogs. There they are. They just got a bath today. Woo, good for them. As I said in my last video, I, not my last video, the video before, was it my last video? When was that? Nope, I think it was my last video. What I said in the video was I am starting to drive now and I am really pushing towards getting a job. I've been a blah, 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 blah. I've been applying to a ton of different places trying to get a job. And so with getting a job, you have to drive. So I've been practicing driving and with getting a job, I need to find something to do with my dogs while I am working. They're both eating dinner right now. So you're just gonna have to forgive the chewing noise. Yeah, I didn't really plan this out very well. My parents suggested a couple kennels and everything. And I've never looked at kennels before because normally I can just put my dogs in their crates and they're good until I get home because they love being in their crates, yada yada. Pebble doesn't really like being in her crate, but she can be in there. Boulder likes it. He's, he's warmed up to the whole idea of it. So I go to this kennel place and I have no idea what I was thinking. I guess I thought it was gonna be this amazing spa resort or whatever. And, and I, I get in there and first thing that hits me in the face is this realization that it smells so heavily of bleach, I instantly get a headache. And I'm waiting, I had both my dogs with me because I was like, I wanna see how they respond in this environment. And I asked to get a tour because I wanna see you know, what I'd be getting out of my money because each day I'd be leaving my dogs there, it'd be 17 and $18 for both dogs. That's a lot of money. Uh, especially if you're not making that much in a day. I'm getting the tour and everything and we walk out to where the kennels are and the first thing that happens when we open the door is there's this huge Rottweiler in a cage and it just starts attacking the side of the cage. It's barking, it's like blah, 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 everything, yada yada. Pebble is completely freaked out. Boulder just flattens like a pancake because he's freaked out. And so I'm like, okay, it looks like there's only one dog, but he was the only dog outside in the kennel. So I was like, okay, there's only, there's only one dog. That's, that's okay, you know, they won't be surrounded by so many dogs. And then this guy shows me where the dogs stay during the day. And it's covered, but they're just separated by Florida ceiling fence. The slab of concrete that each dog would stay in is about as big as my bed. That's not very big. And the guy's like, so this is where the dogs would stay during the day. And he points to this this backyard area and he's like so this is where our employees will take the dogs to the bathroom one at a time and so that's the only physical work that they get they get walked one time every few hours just to go to the bathroom and then go right back in their kennels there's no soft place out there it's just a slab of concrete i mean i know if I had to sleep on concrete all day, or if I had to stand on concrete all day, I'd be in pain, okay? Pain. He's like, well, let me show you the inside. And in each little fenced area for these dogs, and there's this little doggy door that goes inside this big building. And so then he opens the door, because I'm just hearing a ton of barking. Hearing barking, bark, 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 bark. We open the door, and there's just probably 20 of these inner kennels, which are smaller than the exterior kennel. There's like 20 on either side. So there's probably 30 dogs, and they're all going crazy. They're all completely different sizes. There are these big dogs that are like getting up against the fence, going after Boulder and Pebble, and Pebble was freaking out. So I picked her up and put her as close to me as I could. Oh man. And I look down this line and I see dogs about pebble size and they're just staring at me like this around the corner and they're shaking. They're not making a sound. They're just standing there looking at me shaking. Why? I know it's not animal cruelty because that's allowed. 
not animal cruelty, but these kennels. And I'm sure they take care of the dogs to an extent, but I asked the guy, I was like, is there somebody who stays with the dogs overnight just in case if there's an emergency? And he's like, oh no, this, this guy right here, referencing the Rottweiler that freaked Pebble and Boulder out earlier, this guy right here, Rottweiler, he's our guard dog, so he lets us know. But we're here late and we get here early. But there's no air conditioning in the smaller building. So these dogs are overnight cooped in this building. It didn't feel like there was any ventilation to me. And I just stood there and I couldn't hear a word the guy was saying because it was just so darn loud in there because of all the barking. But I just, I just looked down, I saw all these scared little dogs, all these scared big dogs. Some of them would just cower in the corner. There's nothing, they don't have blankets down or anything. Pretty much, if you don't bring anything for your child, your, your dog child, your, your fur baby to lay on, they're gonna just lay on a concrete slab all day long. I mean, it's different if your dog decides to lay on this slab, but they don't give them like a patch of grass in that fenced area. They're just a slab of concrete. I don't know if that's how all kennels are. Honestly, that is the first and only kennel I've ever been to, but I could never do that to my dogs because just in the couple, the couple minutes I was there, Pebble and Boulder got so freaked out. The entire car ride, they were panting and panting and panting. They were so freaked out. How could I leave them in that extremely stressful situation? Both my dogs already suffer with separation anxiety. Separation anxiety. Staying at a kennel with separation anxiety. Woo, it's gone. Seriously. That just doesn't make sense. If you are the person who feels okay with putting your dogs in kennels, that's fine. It's your prerogative, but I would never do it. It was just sad to see those dogs. None of them were calm. They were all so hyped up with all the energy from all the tension from all the other dogs and they're just feeding off one another. Oh man, I would never use a kennel ever. I would much rather go on Rover or Care.com and find someone last minute who's still available, give them $25 for both my dogs to keep them for a day. And then they're in a home. You know, my dogs have a hard enough time being in a home without me. Why on earth would I put them in such a high stress and just extreme emotional place with no comfort of home whatsoever. There's no comfort. The only way I could ever see myself putting my dogs in that situation was if I had such a huge emergency that I just couldn't find anybody for my dogs. Oh. So with all that said, from my one experience of seeing a kennel place, I'm never going to do it for my dogs. I would encourage you that before you put your dogs somewhere, make sure to get a tour of the facility to make sure that you personally are comfortable. I encourage you to do what I did because it was very informative and very important. Please comment down below your opinion on kennels or what you guys do when you're gone for the day or if you're gone for weeks because I would take any advice that you guys wanted to give me on where you take your dogs and how to make them the happiest when you're gone. So if you liked my rant about kennels, even if you didn't agree with me, I'm sorry, but if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to become part of the Water Down Tribe, just go down below, punch that red subscribe button and jingle that bell so you'll be notified twice a week when I post. And I will see you on the flip side. I love you so much. Bye. How do you do this? Okay. Ugh. <laughs> ha!